Good morning everybody and welcome back. I am Tom the Big Little Farmer and today we are at our local college, our cultural college, Maiska. Uh, Lely are doing an open day with the robots. So me and Georgia have come along today, just having a nosy. Uh, they've got the, the scrapers and the Juno silo push as well, so I'll get some videos of that going around. But we've just been watching on a workman going to be showing us how the robot works and telling us all about it. I'm completely sold on the idea. We just need to find ourselves a new farm first, as the tenant farmers, and uh, we need a new one. So if anyone knows of any farms locally to where you are, ideally they want to be in north of England, Scotland, or anywhere, Lancashire, well, Cheshire, above, Yorkshire, wherever, we're open to moving about. But uh, just putting a one on now. Probably takes average about two minutes to put one on. Doesn't take them long at all. And it just makes you look daft in a milky parlour for three hours every day. Some people stood in it three hours I've read a day, so... Anyway, we'll, uh, I'll show you something. I've got a few videos of it putting them on, so we'll, we'll put that one in a minute. base now to charge up and it just follows these metal strips that are on the floor it goes around the outside of the building as well there's a strip there then when it's in the building in the feed passage it uses ultrasound to know where it is to the uh, feed fence and it just keeps going along so it says 104 cows on that side on two robots and there's 56 heifers we've got one heifer group on one robot that side antibiotics in here Every robot's got a foot bath when they come out. And I asked the question why they've got lights outside the foot bath. And I don't know if you can just see it there. There's a, a camera. And they say they use the lights because when the cows walk out, it takes a picture of their feet to see if they've got dermy after they've been through the foot bath so they know what they're doing and what to target. So they're all very clever. 
So I can't, I can't believe how chilled the cows are at robots. Even with lots of folk walking about. You okay there, love? <laughs> no, it's cute, clear, enjoying its sleep. Also, if anyone thinks the video quality is any better, I've got a new phone. So, if it's, any, if it's better or worse, do comment and let me know. But, uh, they did say they had to take some cubicles out to get the robots in. They lost about three bays worth of cubicles. But they, they put them back. That's what you see over there, that's where the old parlour was. They're going to put a handling system in there. And they've gained a row of cubicles on that back side there, that's where the collecting yard was. Yeah, clear flat out. Oh, here comes a scraper, look. Cow here being nosy as well. Hello, you. I don't know if it's going back to base or it's doing another lap. We're back to base. Slurry channel there for it to push any excess off. And it's got water on the wall there to fill up and charging point. Huh. Back to base. The one at this side still out and about somewhere scraping up. George has found a new friend. And yeah, no, all the fairly settled at cows. Out of car building now, which is uh, over there, other side of the road. Just walked up here, we're about to go now, but I've just walked up here to have a look at the calf in glues. And the friends are proper smart, set up for calves, aren't they? I won't go in because you've got uh, biosecurity, so I'll just stop here. There's one here mucked out, ready for bedding. Again, wonder how draft it was. We had uh, a couple of bad storms, bad wind this last day or two over this, uh, over where we are. Like 70 mile an hour winds the other night. So I wonder how draft it was on these things. But, uh, they don't like they're taking any harm either, do they? Milk fellas here as well now, look. It's 
Oh, I'm going to end the video here now. Sorry, they dropped me phone then. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching everybody. Hope you enjoy the videos. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers everybody, bye.